Hey guys, it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely with another tutorial. And today, today is all about the tulip. To another tutorial here at Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. I don't know about you, but nothing screams like spring besides bunnies. Uh huh. Yeah, I said it. Besides bunnies, is 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 just is the, 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 the if I can pick it up, the tulip. Nothing screams spring to me like a beautiful tulip. So we're gonna dye a whole bunch of these, and if you hadn't guessed from the title. I just said it twice. One time, oh, was wrong. No, completely wrong. All right, let's jump into this. You're going to need a ton of different tulip inspired colors. I went with more pastels and we're gonna mix and blend all of these together so they're gonna play together really, really well. All right, hopefully you can see everything okay. We may zoom in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a base color and then I'm gonna add another color on top of it just to create a couple different two-tone tulips. There's a lot of tulips that are just one single color so you can easily do that. Now I did um, set all of my tulips with the design spray, the De design master spray. I will link the video um, in this description because that works really well to helping keep the tulips shape that kind of invert it or that like twisted in, inverted, twisted, words, 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 words. Just helps keep the tulip shape. Simple as that. So I am gonna dip dye this one. We're gonna do mostly dip dyeing and um, hand brushing details. Hand brushing? Paint brushing details. Goodness, I'm normally really bad at this stuff, but I'm really, really bad today. <laughs> I apologize already. So what I'm gonna do, got my base color. I'm gonna start at the bottom of the tulip and let this kind of drip down a little bit. And depending on how it drips, if I'm not happy with it or if I go a little too crazy, I will also blend it out with my hand just to give it a little dimension. It's going to stay more yellow, but we've got just a little bit of dimension going on with it. Now what we'll do to really bump up the color on this one in particular. And this is super lovely as is. I'm gonna grab this like magenta-y kind of hot pink. And I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go a little wild. We're gonna go right up on the, the tips of the petal. And it's wet on wet, so this is gonna definitely start to spread throughout the petal. And we might actually activate this even more in just a second with a little bit of spray of water. So have a little spray bottle on hand and that will, all right, so there we've got that. I'm going to go in a downward motion first because it's going to, it's going to wrap around the edges of the, the tulip itself, the, the petal. Oh, this is fun. Oh, that's doing all kinds of funky stuff that I was not expecting. I'm not mad about it though definitely not mad about it. So now I'm just taking my thumb and blending all that together. And it's just creating this really cool kind of peachy tulip. I'm not mad about it. I'm definitely not mad about it. Let's try uh, purples. What you can do is bring your paint a little bit more generously bring it on down and then it's going to kind of create an ombre effect of sorts so going again a little bit thicker at the bottom and let it streak on down through the rest I am going to mute that a little bit by rubbing my fingers from the top. Okay, so I do want a little bit more, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more, see if we can get 
parts of this to darken up a little bit more. I think we're gonna be able to do that. And maybe, oh, that was too, wait, there we go. I really wanna blend that out because I don't want it to be super dark up at the top. So maybe we'll go backwards this way. It's a single tone color, but by blending it in different ways, we've definitely darkened and lightened it up in different spots. So that's super fun. Okay, let's do a light pink one. This one I'm going to completely dip dye it. Wrap up our petals and all the, the light pink, and this is so pretty by itself. We're gonna grab that hot pink and we're really gonna something spectacular. Okay. And I've made a mess of my hands. I probably should have a paper towel over here. Do I? No. Why? Why? Why would I do that? Why? That would make the most sense. So I'm just putting a teeny, teeny, tiny little dip of the hot pink, the magenta, at the base and letting it kind of do its own thing. And I'm going to let it shake it oh my gosh the marbling that is happening just oh my gosh oh 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 my oh my goodness oh my gosh I don't think it knows how pretty it is it's so pretty oh my gosh holding it together I'm trying I'm trying really hard I'm also there's some additional petals that I didn't get that magenta so I'm gonna try to get those in there at least a little bit and I'm gonna maybe help my nail trail that through a little bit. Oh, um, oh gee, okay. Um, so this one got a little extra heavy, so I'm gonna try to see if I can take up some of that paint because I want it to be light pink, light pinker kind of at the top. I think we're okay. I'm gonna keep this upside down as I work on it. And shoot, get that paintbrush. I'm gonna just kind of go back over this a little bit. And I'll blend it so that it isn't such a harsh line. But there, I am going to keep this this way to let it dry for right now. And because we use the Design Master, just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like once it's actually fully dry. Oh my gosh, we're gonna leave that like that. Let's try to see, okay, let's do a, a yellow, but let's see if we can get the, I know originally we had tried with the tips and then I, I didn't like that as much, so I actually brought it back down. Or maybe the light pink and get the edges of the petals. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so this one has like this lovely like ruffled center. Um, there's a lot of detail on the, this is the fancy tulip, there's a lot of detail on the outer petals. Maybe let's do, let's do the hot pink in the outer, or like in the inside, instead of on the outside. And I'm just gonna, you can spread that. Oh, yep, it's doing some fun stuff. You're gonna have to just trust me on this for just a second. They're starting to seep through some of those details, depending on how much paint we used, if it started to kind of show through. That's fun. So I'm going right on the edge of the petal so that some of the paint other side but because we're using such a little amount it's not gonna spread all the way through but look 
get that. Oh, that's fun. And then of course I can't help myself. So I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. And with my fingers, this is where creative play gets real fun. It's like finger painting. It legit is like finger painting right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so much fun. So we've got this versus this. Which one's your favorite? Tell me in the comments. Do we like it pink on top? Bright pink on top or bright pink on bottom? That's bright pink on bottom, bright pink on top. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll do yellow and then I think we're done. This is an interesting kind of, this, I do these a lot on Facebook Live where we just kind of play and see what happens in different combos and things and that's kind of what we're doing today on the on the YouTubes. So it's a ton of fun though. What did I say we were gonna do though? We are going to try to, let's try again to try to get that hot pink to work. I think though I want the hot pink to come down from the bottom. So I'm going to use the light yellow. So I think the rest, I'm just gonna do solid colors because we've got some real pretty showstopper ones. Um, and then we're gonna make a really pretty, and you're, I'm just talking with my hands, and then we're gonna make a really pretty arrangement. T TBD. But for now, we've dyed all of the tulips. There you guys go. A whole bunch of different ways to dye some solo wood tulips. It's so much fun. Get your hands dirty. My hands are filthy. I'm gonna go wash them right now. Um, yeah, I never wear gloves. I just, I just, I can't. So I'm gonna take these all off their stems. You could put these on stems. Um, I do like wood dowels to let them dry upright, um, but I'm just gonna put them in my egg carton. Just pop them in here, simple Simon. Um, I thought it would be cool so that you could see what how pretty they are, but some of them are shifting and I don't want one to fall. And some of them are still a little damp and I don't want them transferring too much color onto the other one because it ruins all of the fun uh, finger painting we did earlier. So there you go, tulips in an egg carton. Nothing but professionals here. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers, including tulips we have, along with craft supplies and greenery, go to ohyourlovely.com. And that's not all. If you haven't tried the tulips or solo wood flowers in general, wanna give us a try, use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your next order. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Have a lovely, lovely day. This is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.